Now let's go to the installation and connection of the one second jumper and the Dean Street Mail connector. The connector is an Andrew. First, prepare the following items. A Dean Street Mail connector and a one second inch radio frequency coaxial cables. A dedicated peeler of one second inch super flexible cable. A brush, a track bar or a tip measure, a file, a cable peeler, a pair of diagonal pliers, and a pair of electric pliers. Two non-adjustable wrenches with line of action of 90 mm and 22 mm respectively, or two adjustable wrenches. Now we can install the one second inch super flexible jumper and the adaption connector. Step 1. Skin off the cable jacket and a spiral external conductor with the dedicated cable peeler. During peeling, the cable should prop the cable peeling tool. Spin the cable peeling tool for about 5 rounds. Note that the cable should be fixed. Do not spin too hard, otherwise the cable may be damaged. Step 2. Use the electrical pliers to loosen the cable outer jacket and then rip off the cable outer jacket and spiral external conductor slightly. Step 3. Use the track bar to measure 21 mm of outer jacket. Use the cable peeling knife to circle and cut off the outer jacket. Loosen the cable outer jacket with the electrical pliers. Remove the cable outer jacket with hand. Step 4. Cut off the foaming medium of the cable with the electrical cable peeling knife and then cut from the side. Step 5. Use the track bar to measure 7 mm of the cable internal conductor and then use the diagonal pliers to cut off spare internal conductor. Use the file to slightly file the internal conductor of the cable to form a reversed angle of 0 0.3 multiple 45 degrees. Remove the cover crumbs on the surface of the external conductor, internal conductor, and media with the brush. All the cover crumbs must be removed away from the media interface. Step 6. Put the cable into the heat shrink tube and then circle the cable external conductor with the sealing packing ring. Move the sealing packing ring to the outer jacket of the peeled. Apply the silicon lubricant evenly to the sealing packing ring. Step 7. Unscrew the back nut of the connector and slightly screw the cable into the back nut first with hand and then with the wrench. Do not screw too hard. The external conductor on the cable should tightly touch the surface of the embedded hexagon workpiece of the back nut of the connector. The central conductor is about 5 mm long. Note that you should screw with proper strength. If you cannot screw successfully, it indicates that the nut size and the connector do not suit well. The external conductor of the cable should tightly touch the surface of the embedded hexagon workpiece of the back nut of the connector. Step 8. Apply the silicon lubricant evenly to the sealing packing ring of the back nut. Screw the front shell of the connector into the back nut with hand until it cannot progress more, and then use proper wrench to fasten the connector. Note to screw the front shell of the connector. The back nut should remain unmoved. Step 9. Cover the connector with the heat shrink tube, and then use the heat gun to blow the heat shrink tube to shrink.